Hi everyone, today's a different vlog, it's going to be a travel vlog. I'm going to take a short trip about an hour away from my house in Cambridge to a place that had it never existed, life would be extremely different. Got the drone, camera bag, eight man, airpods. so windy out today we're getting the storm Doris I've never met a Doris but um, it's so bad I don't think I should have bothered bringing the drone because I don't think it's going to be safe to fly the drone today anyway heading to Bletchley Park should be there in about a half an hour's time just depending on the traffic situation my chest is still really bad in fact I started tucking into Fleetwood's greatest export apart from Cod Army Fisherman's Friends, they should really spawn, well I suppose Pilly's got his thing, but anyway Fisherman's Friends, made in Fleetwood by Loft Houses and they've really started to kind of clear things in my airways but kind of just making, oh my cough's got really bad, but anyway I'm going to crack on <laughs> incredible to think of what went on in this these rooms um, just oh I'm going out of the light there just so incredible it's well worth a visit already and I've only been here for 10 minutes This was the boss's office. Rather nice sort of place I'd like. <laughs> Lots of light. He was determined to stay at the forefront of the computer revolution. That meant America. They created MITRE.
what strikes me while I'm in here is not just how dark it is, but how cold it is. It can't have been very pleasant conditions to work in. So this is hut six, where most of the code breaking actually took place. And if you think, you know, you're talking now 80 years ago, it's a Gordon Welshman who basically set up, or helped set up, the NSA, as well as winning the Second World War, who was running all the code breaking operations here. So this is where almost it all began in a way. This is Alan Turing's office, his desk. Um, you know, I was reflecting, I couldn't have done this for you today. We couldn't communicate. I couldn't have even driven here because my car runs on a computer these days. Oh, thank you very much. What strikes me is how the Germans just had no idea what we were doing. And it's remarkable how they were able to keep it so quiet and so secret, uh, make it appear like it was spine-led intelligence rather than cracking the codes. The light's not really working for the video, so I'm going to take some photos, I think, now. So, changing lenses and show you these pictures. They're launching the new Mercedes Formula One car today, but it's so windy and now it's starting raining that I don't think they're going to come out with it. We're getting our kind of Coltrane Rashid Ali vibe on. You ready? Keep playing. <laughs> 